Welcome back to Color Me Poetry. I'm Danny Queen. We're here. We're talking about reggae music, and we're talking to uh, Carl Malcolm and Newborn. And uh, Paul, Brother Paul Robinson, Paul, you were saying something. We were talking about the spirituality in black music that's uh, pervasive in all black music. Yeah, you know, the spirit, the spirit does have a lot to do with it. I think, um, you know, the, you know, the spirit, it wouldn't be a real, real feeling you know, get from, from the music. And in other words, you can't fake it. No, nah, you can't fake the real. That's the reason why, you know, great singers mm -hmm. can really push it out because, of, you know, the in thing that come out of them. And then once that spirit get out, I think, it, you know, the people, it just go right into the people and everybody feel it. You know, mm -hmm. and that's where the, you know the good feelings are coming. You know, once you have that, that's it. And that makes a lot of difference. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. really I've, I've heard music on the radio, whether reggae or whatever. I you know I don't put a lot of labels on stuff because I've heard music. You know, uh, there's a song that uh, redone by um, Maxi Priest. Uh, uh, it was done on uh, right now's album, but it was done by Maxi Priest, and they did a remake of Bob's old old song. Um, I don't wanna. Um, with yeah, in vain. Vain. Yeah. Now I first heard that. I mean, the spirit was in it because uh, you know they played a regular hit of rock. I don't want, and you could feel it. Yeah, you could feel those yeah, vibes. Yeah. And they did a good job with that remake. And I could just feel the vibes and the beat. You know, that they that they really were feeling what they were doing, and that yeah. comes through in the music, and that's so very important. Yeah, yeah that's really really with important. Any artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 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 not only that, when I listen to your CD, Malcolm. Uh, with my headset on, because that's how I can really get into it. For me, that's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I listen to it 2 o'clock in the morning, man. I said, you know, I'm starting to pat my feet and say, this, I like this, you know, like that. Yeah, and that's yeah, how I see the spirit is, you know, yeah, it's, the spirit you know, of the music. Got to, got you. to. You know. But how you capture that, though? Because some people, everybody don't have that. Um, Life changes, I, I guess, because my, my, my previous records, I, I found my hits used to be mostly love, love ballads and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Recently, um, I realize I'm getting more into the Christian side of things, or mm -hmm. the really part of things, reality, part of life. And that's so, that's so very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, what, uh, with this CD, what kind of material you have in? What type of material? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, with this CD, some of the songs, mm -hmm. let me see, Paul mm -hmm. wrote God and Money. Mm -hmm. I can't see with these glasses too well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I got like five songs. You wrote them five songs. God and Money. God and Money. Yeah, God and money. I, I in the Sky. Ja told me. Ja told me. You yeah. know, Comfort, Adult, and Until. You know, like, Until, mm -hmm. this one right here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like... These came from poetry that you wrote. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I, I like that's that. what I was going to ask you. That's yeah. what I mean. Where the ideas come from? Yeah, yeah this is where, like, Until, I can remember so far, come from... Now, you're both poets. Yeah, yeah, you know... How's the writing process work for you? Um, the writing process work for me like I can see an event happening and, and um, base, you know, a lot of things on it, like, you know, and um, I can get deep feelings. I can, you know, and it just come and I put it together like that, you know. Do you write in, in seclusion or you write in public or anywhere? Well, yeah, basically, um, I like to be secluded because yeah, I mean the that, concentration is very important. Yeah, and I, and I write in seclusion too because you know, you know I, I can be inspired anywhere by anything. Yeah. But to write in seclusion, take my ideas behind closed doors and work on. But some people can write on the bus, in the park, on the boat. You know. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> you know, yeah, I write. I write songs in it when I'm flying or when I'm on the train. Oh, okay. Okay. Long distance. If if I'm in an area, nobody's talking to me. Mm. You know. Where people talk to me, break my concentration. But when I'm flying, I, I write a lot. Because mm. yeah. your mind is at ease. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a certain peace that comes to it. When that, uh, I think the Greeks, the Greeks call it the muse. When that spirit, if you will, come down and mm -hmm. takes you to another level. To another level, yeah. yeah. You can go, go beyond things, you know right. what I mean? Wherever you are, you yeah. go beyond. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and you pick up on those vibes. Yeah, you can look in. Which, you know, I think um, with poetry, I think like, that's a thing that they should instill in a, in a lot of youths because mm -hmm. it poetry really help you to grow and, and it, you know it can show you a direction where you can really put yourself mm -hmm. in I and mean, get you know it's also therapeutic too yeah you know yeah, right. really I don't I don't think I agree with that point because poetry has to come from a gift that God gives you you know no not, not really not something you can practice you know not really I, I think why why do they have so many singers who can't write a song yeah that's true everybody can't write. I, I kind of think it's, it's you something. have to have it within you. Well, you I'm not saying that you can't no. learn it, but I think it's something that you kind of have or you don't. If yeah, you, you have it. If you learn it, it's going to be commercial. I think everybody have poetry in them. Really? Everybody have poetry in them. Is but just everybody can bring it up. Bring it up. You know, it's just like every you got a tree. 
A lot of trees don't bear fruits. I mean, yeah, that's But true. yes, it's a tree. Some of it's bare leaves. <laughs> you know, but it's a tree, though. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So every uh, egalitarian is just, mm -hmm. you know, some people bring it out in other ways. Some people bring it out in another way. Well, maybe you're right in a sense because uh, even though everybody can bring it out and therefore not be able to write it, but when you they see a good piece, they can relate, relate to it. Relate to it, they yeah. Say, well, I don't you know. feel that way inside. Yeah, that's the reason. But I, I ain't able to write it. But yeah. I feel that. That writing part, man, has to be really a gift, a serious gift because mm -hmm. I um, believe. Because even even poetry is something that you have to feel. You have yes. to be honest. It's the honesty mm -hmm. comes out of you. It's not it's not something you commercialize mm -hmm. and put words together. I, I I believe what you're saying is true because sometimes people come to me and you know you run to all kinds of people come yeah. to you all kinds of stuff. So, oh, let me read this poem. I write poetry, and you know you read it and I'm like, but it doesn't click. It doesn't click. It doesn't yeah, click. Yeah, words, can, dear. And I can tell my ear when I'm writing is very important mm -hmm. because I hear. The words in my head, with my ear, as I read it, it has to flow, it has to click somewhere. And if it doesn't, to me, I'm like, mm. it has to grab my ear. I'm going to show you how, 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 how different it is. We are both writers, right? You write poetry. I write poetry too, but I write song. Mm -hmm. When he came to me with the words poetry, mm -hmm. I had to turn them around and rearrange them into a song form. Okay. So it's a different type of to writing. To make it lyric. To make it lyric. So, so you're saying there's a, there's a difference between a different. song lyric and a poetry. There's yeah. some difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of difference. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, you know. So you have a different types of writers. Yeah. Right? yeah. It comes no. across a difference. Now, some writers write pure poetry. And some write... Write uh, novels um, and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, but look at this one. If, if, if I didn't feel the vibration from what he wrote... Yes. I wouldn't be able to relate it to even put it in a song. Yeah, I see what you And if he gave me yeah. something that was negative, I wouldn't even be interested in it in the first place. <laughs> yeah, it has to be, has to be positive. Because yeah. you want to uh, influence, and, you know, have influence on other people, yes. particularly young people. Yes. You, know, you know, and that's why I said with all the, the negativity, so-called, quote-unquote, if you will, mm -hmm. gangster rap, you know. Uh, I can't get into all that. <laughs> but it has rap, to be positive. Gangster rap have to be, uh, it's like a news media. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it tells you what's happening on the street. Have, but uh, what I don't like about it is that the way they express themselves when they're telling about what's going on in the street. And um, the kids watching it, I don't think it has a good influence on them. I don't, no. think, I don't think it's going well, to... It don't, it don't really have no good influence on no kids. No, I think what it does is just um, over and over again, it reiterates the same kind of thing. It comes with, it comes with, the time. It comes with a, a dress code. It comes with an action. Yeah. Every artist you see on TV... You gotta look the same yo, way. No, you know, and, and, and right. That's half of them, of half of them again, you know, when I sit and, and watch them on television doing an interview, mm -hmm. they really can't express, express themselves, themselves where well. they're coming from, where they want to go, you know, oh yeah, it's like this, you know, it's like that, you know, you know. And they don't express themselves. For 10 minutes, you don't know what the guy wants to do, what the guy, what, what the guy is trying to say.